Hello again, friends and neighbors, all you readers and future leaders out there. This is Stuart Payne. I'm coming to you today on behalf of Reed 20 and the Reedmobile. You may remember me as the Reedmobile man. Maybe I came to your school. I was telling crazy stories, talking about the big ideas inside. And of course, I gave everybody a brand new free book. At Reed 20, we were all about words and ideas and all of the amazing things you can discover inside a book. A good story is like a great adventure. And we want you to go on an adventure with us by participating in the Probasco Readers Challenge. The great reading adventure begins today, September 8th, 2020, and it will continue on till April 30th, 2021. <laughs> All right, here's what you need to know about the great reading adventure. It's a partnership between Read 20, the Hamilton County Library, and the Hamilton County Schools. This is what we are asking you to do. Read 20 minutes every day for at least five days a week, which if you do the math, that adds up to 100 minutes a week. We want you to log your time. Log all the time that you read. Get your parents to sign off on it. We will collect the data and enter it into a database so we can compare all the minutes of all the students in town. You are going to be competing against other students in your school, other classes in your school other schools and even your principal and teachers and librarians and I may even compete in this myself you will learn and grow and have fun because reading helps you to learn and grow and have fun and also you can win prizes you might win between one and two thousand dollars for your school library for books and supplies you will get a Read 20 bag tag and a millionaire reader certificate showing that you have read at least a million words this year. Kind of amazing if you think about it. And you will also win bragging rights if your school wins. So I'm challenging each and every one of you today to read 20 minutes every day for at least five days a week and we'll have some fun together. Now we are going to look at a story together today, a story about a young lady who overcame some challenges of her own Yes, we're going to read a story together. It's called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. So let's get started. Yeah, this is Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon by Patty Lovell with illustrations by David Catro. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog. She was the shortest girl in first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Molly Lou Millen had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. That's a snake. But she didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. And guess what? She did. Molly Lou Millen was often fumble fingered. But she didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. And so she did believe in herself. And then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and to all of her friends. She had to start in a new school On the very first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. And when the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football and ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. Woohoo! All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. But Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies and she stacked 10 high on her teeth and she smiled as big as the day. 
All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck! Honk, honk! Well, Mary Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to see the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. Again. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. And all the children oohed and odd. Even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth. And he smiled at her. And that night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper, and she wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Now I'm going to guess that she lived happily ever after. You know, being the kind of person that is not afraid to take on a challenge. So don't be afraid to take on a challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to pick up one of these every single day and read a little bit. You will have some fun. You will find some things that will blow your mind. And you might even win some money and some bragging rights. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful school year. I hope I will see you at your school with some fresh stories and some brand new books to give away. And this has been Mr. Stewart from Read 20. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.